What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking these out. Quick thought here. Seagull. There are 14 states who are going to sue TikTok because they feel that TikTok has hurt an entire generation of people knowingly. That TikTok knew that its app was unbelievably addictive, that it hurts people's depression levels, raises people's anxiety levels, but they did nothing to curb that. And we're talking 14 states. We're talking blue states. We're talking red states. We're talking states that agree on just about nothing else. They can't even decide whether or not the earth is flat, but they agree on the fact that TikTok is hurting society and they want to do something about it. And I don't think it's just a, uh, a younger generation. TikTok has just hurt generation in general. Walk around out there. It is, it is a loose society. Loose. I mean, you can watch elderly people going through TikTok, any single cashier anywhere. As you walk up, they have to close their phone and put TikTok away. Check it into a flight. TikTok right there. You got to honk at somebody in front of you at a red light that turns green because they're on TikTok between the lights. They can't even want, they can't wait for a full revolution from red to green without watching a video of a family dancing on a grave, which is an actual TikTok trend that's just horrifically disgusting. But anyways, you can't stop it. I bet to the point that people are going, I bet there's baseball players that are walking into management going, why can't I use my phone? I mean, I'm just sitting in right field. You want me to sit there with my hands on my knees watching baseball? Have you seen baseball? Let me watch videos of people who are dressed up like members of tragedies, for God's sake. I will put my phone away when I hear a ball hit a bat. Until then, why do I have to just stand out here and listen to my own thoughts? TikTok knew how incredibly addictive their algorithm was, but they didn't care. They say that they can. their algorithm is so good, good, that within 35 minutes, you can become addicted. 35 minutes. You sit there for 35 minutes. You watch 200-something videos. Done. Toast. Now, you're not getting off your couch. You're going to sit there and just drool while butter runs out of your head. And they didn't say anything about it. Now, they should all social media apps should have some sort of warning on them. There's many things come to warnings. Even video game systems. You get a PlayStation. It's like you might not want to sit and just glare at this for 14 straight days. This might hurt you. DraftKings even. It's like, look, hey. You can bet on the Clippers, maybe make a couple bucks. Also, you might lose your house and have to live under a bridge and drink your own piss to live. They don't want to say that part, but they have to. And all of these other places should. Like, there should be warnings on social media that go, hey, if you get this, you might fully start to hate yourself. You might look at every part of your body and realize what an ogre, gargoyle troll you are who's an unlovable freak because you're judging yourself on by everybody else on the entire planet. You're more broke than everybody. You don't have hot people in your life like everybody else. You don't have a cool car. You don't have friends. You're a dork loser idiot who wants to fill their house with carbon monoxide after seven straight hours of looking at this app. Please scroll responsibly. TikTok is so addictive that like, I, I bet, I don't know anything about anything, but I bet you it's harder to quit than heroin because TikTok knows you. Heroin doesn't know you. You know what I mean? Heroin doesn't follow you what you do and give you back to you what you like. Heroin doesn't get onto your phone and then go through your text messages, read them, and send you videos that you might have talked about in this other way. And also, where where's an eight-year-old getting heroin? It's going to be pretty tough if they just walk around recess. Somebody's like, hey, do you want a fruit roll-up? And they're like, no, nah, I'm thinking of something a little bit harder. I think that eventually, because people become so addicted to these things that there's gonna be there's gonna be rehabs for social media. Definitely TikTok. There's gonna be people that have to be a blanket wrapped around them and their phone taken away from them while they're trying to bite you. They have to be sent to the Betty Ford Content Center where they sit in a dark room detoxing, drinking green tea. And somebody's gonna walk in and be like, hey, how you feeling today? Well, I'm doing pretty good, but I'll tell you right now, I would suck your dick for a scroll. TikTok obviously wants us on the app. The more you're on it, the more money they make. And this is just with every single company out there. However, other companies are even just self-regulating. This one is not. It is, un it is just a nonstop trough of trash that gets thrown into your face. Like Coke wants you to drink more Coke. When you drink more Coke, Coke makes more money. The thing about Coke is you can't just keep drinking Coke. You can't drink 18 liters of Coke while you're waiting for a connecting flight. You can't drink an unlimited supply of Coke. Like, you, there's no bottles of Coke that you pick up that don't stop until you put them down. 
It's impossible. They don't, there's not an unlimited bottle of Coke that you just keep sucking on for hours and hours until you lose track of time and snap out of it going, what is it, Wednesday? And of course they had to make this app addictive for people to be on it. Because if you just look, go to, just go to TikTok and tell me it's not a disgusting, dirty looking, gross app. It just looks gross. Just generally speaking, it's like a, it's like the winners of content. It's like Marshalls or Byway. It's like walking into a Salvation Army and finding DVDs in a bin beside a bunch of like old military uniforms. It looks gross. It's like that, and it just never stops. It never stops. It's the it's the butt chugging of content clips. Hey man, you want to watch a movie? No. Why don't I stand on my head, you break up pieces of that movie, and jam them into my ass? And there are people out there that are going to fight this, for sure. Regular people. Not tic TikTok itself, for sure. But then there's going to be people going, You can't sue TikTok. That's my lord. I learn on TikTok. When you, people that say they learn on TikTok, you better be eight. You better be eight to 16. You better have homework due. You better have a book bag with a juice box in it because a tax paying adult. When a taxpaying adult says they learn on TikTok, it's depressing. Like, how did you learn up until this point then? Did, can you not read? Can you, you can't listen to a book. No, I can't learn about the Civil War that way. I need to find out about it in a 49 second video told to me while a woman is doing her makeup. And I don't think people are even learning on TikTok. The things people learn, it's like, oh look, you can carve a watermelon with your own ass. You can break up a bag of Doritos and make chicken in it sick it's hurting society on a much bigger level than you being able to find out whether or not you can steal a kia sue it sue it all and i, I don't think it's going to go anywhere i don't think it's going to be banned i don't think it's going to actually be taken away but sue them they say right now that it is banned that an american company has to buy it who knows what'll happen but i do know i well think that there's people that are so addicted to this thing that if they did out and out ban it, there are people that would move out of America and go to China. There are people that would be like, you're telling me that I can't make a video where I dance with my friends in front of a monument that people are trying to look at? Excuse me, I'm going to Hong Kong. Happy about these 14 states suing TikTok. Hopefully something good comes out of this. And I'm, I mean, anybody that's watched me for any length of time, you know how I feel about tech. I got a whole stand-up special called Down With Tech. Please check it out. Link in the bio here right now on this thing. And uh, let me know what you think. Should TikTok be sued? Is it destroying an entire generation of people, also the elderly? Should there be warnings on social media apps? What are we doing? Just been a quick thought. Seagull, greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you. Later.